Adidas are clearing out their Yeezy stock and one of the drops they have released is the Yeezy Foam Runner in a new colorway MX Granite. Adidas over the last week have been dropping a lot of Yeezy silhouettes. We've seen some sneakers, 350s, 500s, and we've also seen some Yeezy slides as well. I recently picked up the Salt colorway and I have done a review if you do want to check it out. Personally for me, I'm kind of over the Adidas Yeezy sneakers. I'm not really interested in picking up any new sneakers anymore. I'm still interested in the slides and foam runners because I do feel like the comfort level is absolutely unmatched. There has been a lot of controversy around these new Adidas Yeezy drops since they both split up. Kanye has shared his views many times on social media. So for today's video, we do have the Yeezy foam runner in the colorway MX Granite. I do also have a pair of Yeezy foam runners, which I picked up in 2021 as well. So we can do a comparison and see if there are any changes. First though, let's take a closer look into the MX Granite colorway. So we do have the standard Yeezy foam runner silhouette. As you can see, we have these beautiful gradient of colors going on. So we do have the gray and it kind of merges into a lighter shade of gray, a gradient swirl effect. I do absolutely love the fact it is gray. I think that it makes it such a more wearable shoe. If we take a look inside, we have the sticker and this does say that this was made in January, 2023. So over a year ago, just inside as well, we do have the engraving that says foam runner eight us made in china so when comparing my foam runner from 2021 one thing i do instantly recognize as soon as i pick them up is that the foam does seem to be a lot more plush and foamier on my older foam runner whereas it does feel a bit more rigid and stiff in the new foam runner it's funny because the material looks exactly the same but there is a slight difference on the kind of touch on it which will be interesting to see when we try them on to see if this has any effect on the comfortability of them. Also, another really minute detail that I did notice when comparing both of the foam runners side to side is that the new foam runner does seem to be a little bit more narrow at the top of the foot. It looks as if the old Yeezy foam runner is a little bit more wider. So again, we'll see what that feels like when we try them on. Everything else does appear to be exactly the same. We have the same footbed and we have the same outsole as well, that kind of moon rock look. So after trying them on, comparing them to my previous Easy Foam Runners, I did mention earlier that this bit here felt a little bit more different. It feels a little bit more narrow and also the foam feels a lot more rigid than my other Easy Foam Runners. Now I haven't really worn my Easy Foam Runners that I picked up about two years ago now. I've probably worn them only a couple of times. So I don't think it is down to, you know, me wearing them in that they feel a little bit more flexible. I do think that this foam is a little bit more rigid. Maybe they've used a different supplier. However, saying that the comfort is exactly the same as my other Yeezy Foam Runners. They are super, super comfortable. And do you know what? I think I actually prefer this color than the previous color that I picked up. I just think they are more wearable and that is because they are gray. And I do like the fact that we do have the kind of gradient as well, which does make it a little bit more interesting than obviously just plain gray Yeezy Foam Runners. They are really secure on your foot. Like they are not gonna fall off. I could literally run in these and they would still be on my feet. So they are such a good shoe to kind of have as an everyday shoe that you can just slip on to do whatever you want. Personally for me, I actually like wearing these without socks, but for this video, I've put socks on, but I could, I could show you guys what they look like without socks. My toes are covered, so it's all good, but I definitely prefer the Easy Foam Runners without socks, and I feel like it feels just, it feels nicer on your foot, and you do have, obviously, that breathability with all the holes going on. But yeah, I think that, I don't know why, it just looks so much better, I think, than with socks. But obviously, if it's raining and stuff, you might wanna wear socks or make your foot a little bit warmer. In terms of pricing, they come in at £80, $90. You would think that as Adidas are clearing out their stock, they could have done, you know, a little sale on them to reduce the pricing. Also, these are still sitting on the Confirmed app, which I do think says a lot about the demand for these. It's not just the Yeezy foam runners that are sitting, all the other silhouettes as well appear to be sitting. Things that, you know, a couple of years ago would be sold out instantly. These would be sold out instantly if they dropped a couple of years ago. In terms of sizing for these, I went for the same sizing which I went for before which is one whole size up from my normal true to size size and they fit absolutely perfectly. Also at the same time these dropped we did get a black colorway 
as well. So if the gray is maybe a little bit too much for you, then you can go for a more simple option of the black colorway. Personally for me, this is my only Yeezy foam runner that I actually own and I got these in 2021. I think I can count on my hands a number of times that I have worn them. I do absolutely love them, but I just never find myself reaching for them. And I do think that is because of the silhouette. It's obviously very, very unique. I'm very selective with what I wear these for, these kind of, I just don't wear them casually. I don't know maybe if it's to do with the colorway. I obviously didn't go for the most simple colorway. We've got hints of pink and blue on them. Whereas the MX granites are a lot more simpler in terms of colorway, a lot more subtle as well. So maybe they would go with more outfits and especially because they're kind of dark. I thought I'd just share that with you guys in case you are a little bit hesitant on picking up the Easy Foam Runner, the kind of silhouette in the first place. Having said that though, they are very comfortable. As you can see, they are very, very unique design. However, like I said, the gray is a little bit more easier to wear because of the color. And to be honest with you, I think with joggers is probably one of my favorite kind of looks to wear them with. I kind of try and stay away from wearing like skinny jeans, skinny trousers or whatever, because they obviously are a lot more chunkier. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts of the Adidas Yeezy drop in 2024, obviously post Kanye. At the end of the day, when the Yeezy Foam Runner first came out, it did absolutely turn heads and it is a very, very creative shoe. And I'm so excited to see what is coming next from Kanye. In the meantime, though, these are still sitting on the confirmed app. So if these are something you've been meaning to pick up in the last few years, you can now easily get them. And for retail, I do have lots of Adidas Yeezy videos as well if you do want to check them out. Thanks again for watching today's video and I'll see you guys on my next one.